Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you a couple of things that you need to check after you bind your own transmitter to one of our bind and fly drones. With me doing customer support I get a lot of questions all the time and some of the questions that I've been seeing frequently is like hey I bound my drone but it's not working properly with my transmitter. So let's hop right into this video today and I'm going to show you a couple of things that I check before I go out and start flying my bind and fly aircraft. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you set up your model in whatever transmitter that you're using. And if you guys don't know how to do that, make sure to go out to YouTube and type in, you know, if you got a Radio Master, FR Sky, or whatever it may be, type that in YouTube and how to set up a model. And after you got that done, you're gonna go ahead and bind your unit to the transmitter. And the way I like to get the drone into bind mode is you can either press the button that's on the board itself, and I have another video of how to do that or you can go into your CLI command and type in bind underscore RX and that'll put your drone into bind mode. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna get the Nanohawk X bound up to my Radio Master here. And then after I do that, I'm gonna go through the settings that I want you guys to check before you go out and fly. So I'm gonna connect, go down to the CLI tab, and then I'm gonna type the command that I just told you about, bind underscore RX, hit enter. Hey guys, Future Matt here. I forgot to explain one thing with the bind RX command. If you're on an older firmware, you might have to use the bind underscore SPI underscore RX instead of the bind underscore RX command. So I just wanted to pop in real quick and tell you about that. If you're on an older firmware, use the SPI version. And if you're on a newer firmware, such as the Nanohawk X here, you can use bind underscore RX. All right, back to the video. And as you can tell, the blue light on the drone has gone solid, which means that the drone is in binding mode. So next, I'm gonna open up my transmitter here, and I already have a model set up in my Radio Master for the D8 receivers that are on the Emax drone. So I'm just gonna go to that model, and then I'm going to go and bind the model. And if you look at your drone, the light should start flashing, which means the bind has taken effect. And after you're done binding, you can back out of it and your radio, and then you can go over here and type save in the CLI and hit enter. And that's gonna reboot your drone and save those settings. And the next thing we wanna do is connect and make sure that everything with our transmitter is functioning properly. And the things I like to check first are go ahead and connect and go into your receiver tab. And here, You'll already see that something's going wrong with my drone. If you look at the bottom right here, you'll see the 3D image of the drone just doing infinite backflips. So I know that something is wrong here, so let's check what's going on. So the first thing is, I see we're on channel map TAER1234. And some transmitters are set up that way, but I believe in the Radio Master, I have it set up as a quad. Uh, so that's gonna be the AETR1234 channel mapping. So if I hit this drop down menu, you're gonna see FR Sky, Futaba, High Tech, and then Spectrum Guapner. FR Sky, Futaba, High Tech is generally the AETR1234 or channel mapping. So if I select that and hit save at the bottom, you notice that the preview of the quad in the bottom is now not doing infinite backflips. It's stable, but it is drifting a little to the left. So that could be my yaw trim. Uh, yeah, if you look up here on our bar graph, you'll see my yaw is a little trim to the left and my roll is a little trim to the left. So if we go ahead, just center everything out real quick. I'm gonna go and adjust my yaw so it stops spinning and my roll as well. So you'll see now they're both 1500 in the center. And now we can go ahead and verify that all our gimbal movements match uh, the bar graph here. So I'll start with roll. And when you roll right, you're gonna wanna see the bar graph go right. When you roll left, you're gonna wanna see it go left. And the quad do the same in the bottom. Now, next with pitch, when you can pitch forward, it'll go right. You'll see the quad does the same thing and back. And you're gonna do this for everyone. So y'all left, right throttle, and then you're gonna make sure your auxiliary switches work as well. So aux one, and there's my aux two. I only have two switches on this model setup 
because I only use ARM and turtle mode. I don't use any modes or anything like that, but if you guys do use modes, make sure you have more switches set up as well. So I always hit save even if I already did it just to make sure before I move on. Next, I'm gonna go over to the modes tab and make sure my modes are working. And as you can see, I only have ARM and turtle mode or flip over after crash mode set up. If you got this brand new out of the box, uh, the bind and fly, you'll actually have angle, horizon, set up as well as beeper right here. Technically, you want to set up four switches, but when you go over to modes here, you're just going to want to make sure that the switches you have set up match what it's supposed to be doing here. So like auxiliary one is my arm switch, so if I flip it up, it should be going to arm. And since we're connected to the computer, it's actually gonna be disabled here for safety. So even if you see that it says disabled, don't worry, that's okay. It's because you're connected to the computer itself. It'll arm after you disconnect. So you just wanna make sure that that's working and then whatever other switches you got set up. So I have flip over after crash. I wanna make sure that is working as well. Go ahead and hit save and you're ready to go out and fly. But a couple other things I wanna go through real quick to make sure you guys are aware that this could be an issue too if you're having binding problems or there's no movement from the drone after you bound is make sure that you go under the configuration tab. It should say right here under receiver type, it should be SPI RX support and it should be FR Sky underscore D. And that's for most of our products out there. Any of the Tiny Hawk models, the Nano Hawk models, uh, you're gonna have that supported for the SPI receiver. If you are trying to bind in D16 mode, I know some of our new, newer models like the Nano Hawk will bind in D16, our older models will not. But if you wanted to go and bind into a D16 mode, say you have an FR Sky newer model and you have a newer Nano Hawk X, you wanna bind into D16, you're gonna wanna change this to FR Sky X and then you'll be able to bind in D16. But other than that, those are three things you should check before you go out and fly. Make sure your transmitter is uh, actually communicating properly to your drone. Make sure it's bound up, all those settings are working properly, the modes are working good, your receiver, all the bar craft movements are matching your gimbal movements. And then if all else fails, if none of that is working, make sure you have your configuration, your receiver type set correctly uh, for the transmitter and drone you're working with. That's it for this video. Hopefully this tech tip helped you guys out there get your transmitter bound and everything working correctly with your bind and fly model. If you guys have any other questions or any video suggestions, make sure to put those in the comments below. I'll make sure to read over those and try to get to those best I can. But until the next one guys, make sure to hit that subscribe notification bell and I'll see you on the next one.